Hey boys and girls, happy Monday. So today we are going to do a learning um, because you know that last week we talked a lot about prayer. And so we're gonna to continue to talk a little bit about prayer and how important our prayer life is. When we pray, we are growing closer to God. So we wanna to continue to do that. So I'm gonna let you listen to a little Bible story today. Um, and the Bible story is called Daniel and the Lion's Den. And I want you to pay close attention to how much he prays and how his prayer life actually saved him. Okay, so here we go. All righty. There we go. Daniel in the lion's den. So remember, for he trusted in God because he was so faithful and because of all of his prayers, God sent an angel and closed the lion's mouth shut 
so that he would not be harmed. Pretty amazing, right? So we need to always remember that to continue to keep our faith life going through prayer, to continue to give thanks. You remember what they said about Daniel. What did he do? He prayed three times a day and every time he gave thanks, he said, thank you, God. And he asked for help. So that's pretty amazing when you think about that. And we could really follow the same. We could pray three times a day. Think about when we eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Could you say a little prayer at breakfast, lunch, and dinner time? That would be an easy way for us to remember to pray, right? So that's a good one. So today what you're going to do is I want you to think about over the summer because you know you're not going to be at school with me every day and at Zoom every day over the summer. So your job today is going to be to go on to Seesaw. There we go. Um, let's see. To go on to Seesaw. And on Seesaw, you're going to find a sheet that looks like this. And I want you to think about who are you going to pray for over the summer? Because we have a long time over the summer, and I don't want you to forget about praying every day. Of course, when we say our prayers, we're always going to say, thank you, God, for all the many gifts that he's given us. But think of some other things that you're going to pray for. And right here in this little box, you do not have to do it on Seesaw. You can just do it on a plain piece of paper. Um, or you can print this out, and you're going to draw a little picture, and then you're going to write to me all the things that you are going to pray for, okay? And I can't wait to read those. I'm super excited about that because you guys always come up with some great ideas. So if you think about it, I'm thinking, hmm, when I think about our country and our world, I'd like to pray for health for everybody so that everybody would be healthy. I would like to pray for our happiness. I would like to pray for our families. I would like to pray for those people that may need help. Maybe they need food. Maybe they need, you know, health care from a doctor. Maybe they're just lonely. So I'd like to pray for all of those things. So I want you to think about who or what you're going to pray for over the summer. All right? So that's your job today for religion class. Um, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Okay? Bye, guys. Love you.